All right, we are going to uh, demo a uh, project called Concept. So I started up the web server, and you can see here that we have a um, a uh, empty concept file, and uh, so we can start to. And you see what this interface is basically giving me a kind of a Python command line, so I can ex execute statements. Um, Etc. That's that actually didn't come. So you either have expressions or, or commands. So let's start to build a concept database. I'll make an entity called a person, and uh, you can see it show up there in the, the current database. And a person uh, has a property uh, which is a text property called their name. There we go, and that gets added to the schema. And let's say we also have a person. Property, uh, property, which is a number property, and is the person's age. Okay, so now uh, notice below you have a history of the commands and what they returned. Um, so now let's go ahead and build. Let's uh, let's say person. Uh, let's just say Deb equals a person. Deb is just a variable name. So uh, I'm going to create a new person. And we'll set her name to be uh, Debbie. There we go. And uh, well, maybe she's not going to like this example. So her age, uh, we'll say uh, 29. There we go. And we'll create another uh, person. So I'll say Mike. And uh, my name is Mike. And these are just Python statements. I'm just accessing the database directly. And uh, Mike's age. Okay. So uh, notice how it just kind of built all those structures for me. And I can do something something like um, yeah, Mike.name. And you can see my name or Mike.age. Or you can say uh, Mike.age greater than Deb.age. True. All right. So um, let's add a more complex relationship. We're going to add a relation uh, between two people. And this is a one-to-one. -one, the cardinality of this relationship is a one-to-one -one relationship. And on the one side, we're going to call it uh, husband. And the other side, we'll call it wife. OK, so created a relation. Now you can see that structure uh, in the in the database and um, so let me now use that relation you, you'll see something pretty cool here so we say Mike dot wife equals Deb and you look here a, a couple things happened here in the instances you see uh, we're person two Mike his wife got set to the person number one but for person number one, the husband automatically got the reverse relationship automatically got set up. Okay, now I'll show uh, off one other kind of cool thing. Suppose I make a, uh, a new person. We're going to say Fred uh, as a new person. And yeah, it's a little problem with the scrolling. Fred.name. Yeah, so this is Fred. And, oops. Fred.age is uh, 21. Okay, so there's there's a new person in there. Now, what happens if uh, Debbie happens to like Fred a little bit better? We are going to say Fred dot wife equals Deb. Now, notice what it did. So here's for Fred. The wife got set to person one, and just like before. The husband got set to person three, so that changed both of those variables automatically. But also, because we set up a one to one relation, it knew that uh, Mike could no longer have a wife field. So, so that is the basics behind concept. And, uh, you know, it's just available on a client side install right now, but uh, it should be uh, pretty, pretty good to go.